Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. Um, if you're new here, I typically do cooking videos. Today, I just want to do a quick DIY, just in case, think about it, if your camera fell in water, maybe it was rained on, um, uh, you know, any kind of moisture which gets into your camera and it stops working. The question is, how do you deal with it? Now, my wife and I, we both have YouTube channels. Mine is Cooking as Ronald. Um, my wife is Vanessa and her YouTube channel is Respect is Growing and honestly we had one camera which is this what I'm using right now on the other side is something we just actually bought I used through Facebook marketplace now the question is what do you do if it happened to get rained on now let me Let me draw a quick picture. This is what happened with ours. Actually, I'm gonna ask my wife to come in here because we had fun together. So what happened? What happened was, you may remember the video. It is the video for the DIY storage bed. Actually, check that out. That's a yeah, one right that's there. That's actually, yeah, I have a version on my channel and Ronald has a version on his. They're both worth checking out and they kind of connect to each other. Yeah. But we're in the middle of filming that. And you know, between having a baby and making sure all his stuff got in the house and making sure the actual bed that was needing to dry was put into the back building we forgot to bring in the camera and the stand on top of it <laughs> it was literally on each stand like yep. that Out so and open. we put it on the side <laughs> well like you know let's take this stuff first so there was a bunch of stuff to move because yeah. liam had his toys yeah we took those well, we when, took liam. when we have liam outside we put out a tarp and then we put out something else because he's not a huge fan of the tarps texture or feeling whatever it is and it was sort of threatening throughout the day even to rain but it never yeah. had actually but lo and behold that evening guess what happened and it was like a torrential rain. It actually it rained the like, entire night. It wasn't just a little bit of spritzing and no. we're done. This is, uh, like Ronald said, a whole night affair. It was a whole night. So imagine your camera yeah. sitting like this. On your nice tripod. On, on the tripod. Which that, actually we can in still open. use. <laughs> yeah, in open. Yes. And it rained on it the whole night. Now I come out. So I was in the, in the house doing morning regular morning things. And Ronald came in and he says, guess what happened? And I just thought uh, something else. I didn't even think anything of the camera because I thought it was in the house already. <laughs> and? And I'm like, um, it rained and we forgot the camera outside. And actually I had seen it earlier because for some reason I happened to wake up, wake up. you know, I usually wake up earlier, I stay in the house, do my stuff, but he I went back there. always before me. Yeah, I went back there. So I'm like, oh no. Okay, I'm like, I cross my fingers. I'm like, God, please, 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 please. I turn well, it on, it was working. Yes. And and then I'm like, okay, let me just put it in. I got a towel, wrapped mm -hmm. it in the towel. I stuck it in a, a, a bunch of towels. I'm like, let me leave it there. We we'll check on it later. And uh, when I came to check on it, it was not working. Now. So then our friend Google came to somewhat of a rescue it yeah. didn't 100 percent work but it of course it's the standard put it in rice yeah or they also said to try the like a hair dryer yeah uh, because it's a dry heat and apparently it pulls out moisture we did both of those now the dryer i think was on it for i felt like almost two hours i can't be certain i lost track of time um and then the rice, we let it sit in that. It was all immersed, completely immersed uh, for more than 24 hours because that's, again, what Google said to do. Yeah. Now, yeah, so Ronald came up with an additional idea which really did work in the end and maybe for you guys it will too. Maybe. That's a big maybe. Well, Don't I mean, with technology, it's always one of these situations. Yeah, because you, you cross your fingers and you're like, oh, you literally don't please, know. Please, 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 because you know how much techno, you know, whether it's a phone or a Anything. camera or whatever, it costs you a lot of money. I even have a friend, quick side note, she had more than one phone and they both fell in the toilet and she used the rice method and actually, luckily enough for her, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> there you on both go. occasions. There actually. you go. But for us, it didn't work. And also at the same time, if you are a YouTuber, you know this by now, you'd be like, OMG, if you have one 
uh, one camera you want it to work sooner yes. so what I did the idea which my, my wife is talking about I end up you know opening up our camera the way you know you can take them apart and uh, I went with it at work just so you have some context this happened around the end of August so that's when we had that big heat wave and you know when your car is all shut up for the whole day it has that really intense heat yeah usually when you get in and you have to open up the windows yes yeah so I opened this up I left it like that honestly and actually also this was wet right so I just made sure the lens was completely open so like that to make sure everything dries up properly so honestly leaving it in the car days too. yeah i did two days but one day for sure i did it yeah. uh the one time because let me say i get to work myself by say around nine so between nine and uh around five let's say four five it had enough heat which drained the moisture out because it was actually sitting on uh set so like that so on top of using things like say rice or maybe the hair, hair, dry, hair dryer. You can also try that option. You can only probably work in not winter, <laughs> I would say. I don't know, even in, win in winter gets cold, no, cold, so that won't it work. Won't work. Uh, but any other season of the year, you might have like summers, obviously your, your most chance yeah. of that working. Or, at that or if you day. happen to have a really warm room in your house, I know uh, we our guest room, we obviously don't sleep in there, but when my parents do, they say, even in winter, they say it gets really warm in there. So you might be able to try maybe insulating it and then putting it in that really warm So yeah, room. maybe any warm area. That's a guess, but you can you always try it. I've just thought about it. Maybe also in the car, um, say you have- Oh yeah, seat you, warmers. You, if you have seat warmers, and also let's say you're traveling a long way and mm -hmm. you have that heat running, maybe it might help. But it may, it may not be as much because usually, you know, in summer, if you can't get in the car and it's so hot and you, you can hardly breathe, it's enough heat for it. Anyways, bottom line is our camera right now actually works. So, when I was talking about that rice method, it was this exact container that I used. Yeah, I should put it so in So, imagine here, only, poking everything up. Mostly for height, of course, but also just imagine this whole thing full of rice. Yeah, just broke everything up. And, and then I put even like the small things like the lens and stuff in there. Yeah. So it depends on the size of your camera, obviously, but you want to make sure it is fully immersed. And of course, you always have that panic, that moment of panic. I know I did when Ronald said, yeah, so we left the camera out <laughs> overnight. Yeah, you, just, you know, you think about the expense and everything else. And right? you kind of think, and I even had, um, a if you're a follower of mine, you'll notice I had a delay of about two weeks for videos yeah they were that, delay. that's the reason so you know, why <laughs> that's sort of that's the behind the scenes stuff that you don't hear about don't hear but about. that is why i had a two-week delay yeah uh, so. lucky for me usually <laughs> yeah lucky for me usually i have some you know videos hanging around in the in the background yeah. just in case we can't get to it mm -hmm. but anyways just to show you the camera works so i'll just turn it on right now yeah there you have it it now works and we've been using it until when we got this other one anyway so yeah as i say today we just wanted to share uh you know issues with cameras uh, in this case if it's done if you've gotten it wet somewhere somehow try that put it in your car when it's really hot maybe it might help i may need to do it for two days but make sure you open it everything is open completely and uh, believe me, we tried everything. I also unscrewed the camera completely. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, when it's something, something's dead, it's like, what's there to lose anyways? <laughs> I, oh, I opened all the screws and took everything apart. Because uh, uh, as I said, we bought it used, so you're not gonna go back to the store or whatever. Oh, so like, can't. like <laughs> Even whatever. so, we had it for years, so that it's not, they're still not gonna let you take it back. Exactly. The biggest thing, apparently, again, Google told me this, it has to be a dry heat that you're trying to get this yeah. moisture from so basically that's our tip about and the story it's story time with us story time and <laughs> karma and whatever else and yeah so on and so forth and even if you aren't a youtuber you can certainly relate <laughs> and for the word of the day today is a picture you know use a cameras to take pictures and so on and so forth we call picture in my language chifanani what are you laughing about Everything's so long. 
Oh, I didn't make up a long way. Someone you, did. I know you did it. Um, <laughs> for some backstory, I am attempting to learn Fluganda, but I, I struggle with the length of some of these words. So say it again. Chi fa na ni. Chi fa na ni. 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 Yes. Chi so chi fa na ni. It's only been, you know, six years and counting. That's but. about it. Uh, okay. I mean, who's counting, right? <laughs> um, again, so that is Chi Fa Na Ni. That is a picture. Check out my wife's YouTube channel once again. Um, my YouTube channel is called Respect is Growing. I cover a variety of topics, but I am in this stage of my life a stay at home mom, also a wife, and things fall under that bracket. Right, so check her out. I hope to meet you there myself. Thank you, guys. I hope also you check out my uh, cooking videos, and I'll be able to see you next time. Of course, don't forget to like, share, subscribe so you never miss a bite. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Yeah, bye now.